about how you can make money off of uh, NFTs. <clears throat> now, every single NFT has a template, which is like the mattress, you know, they make a lot of <clears throat> NFTs off of that one, from what I know. Uh, in wax blockchain anyways that's how it's done so there are a number of nfts out of the market now if they don't say the max number that means um, there are still some packs unopened so there are still some nfts out there ready to be found so the burn one here that means somebody burned them like just deleted them you know from the market they don't exist anymore <clears throat> so let's say there are 2233 NFTs on the market obviously not this one and somebody burns 200 to 2232 that means that's only one NFT left. So from so many NFTs, this guy burned most of them and he kept just one. So that one is going to be really, really expensive because obviously it'll be a lot of demand because people will want it probably. Obviously, if you burn that many, there there is a purpose to it. <clears throat> So people want it and there's only one so it's a lot of demand and obviously nobody can fill it up so it's gonna go up and up and up until you know somebody saw, sold it and you know how the thing goes <laughs> lowest listing so this is what is lowest in the market right now this is what the market suggests you should do uh, sell it for so if it has a purpose you should definitely sell it for 36.9 or higher or higher <clears throat> sorry so let's say that nft is going in the dungeon and has an mp of 10 or 15 you should definitely sell it for suggested price or higher now at three at 15 and, and mining power people don't usually care that much <clears throat> but if it goes above 30 that's when people start to care right now and you shouldn't sell it lower than this that's the main thing i wanted to say there Rarity abundant, see, that's the rarity, that's a factor that really determines the value, actually. These are problems for the game, those could determine the value as well. Let's see, so, this is something I want to show you, so you know how I pulled the Mythic 4, and I want it, obviously, hopefully sell it for a right price so I can buy more NFTs but I'm not gonna sell it for this price because let me show you where is it so this is the highest sell right this is the suggested price and obviously this NFT has uh, a usefulness in the dungeon obviously it's a mythic and people really want it uh, it has uh, what's it called contribution almost 16% so only at level 1 so let you can't sell it for this bro I mean it's your NFT but still last listing when he posted this it was almost 900 wax so lowest listing was 900 wax and he posted this and now the market went down for the C4 because of him. It was like three NFTs of 900 almost wax and he posted 400. So 
what I suggest is yes, maybe go one wax lower or so, maybe even five, but don't be like this guy, bro. Do not. Nah, everybody hates this guy. I like to go lower a little bit. Obviously, you want to sell it, but bro, what? Half of the price. You just cut it off. Don't you think that just dumb? <sighs> right, right, so cut off track. So don't do this because that's not profitable. I mean, you get this C4 in the dungeon and you just you have a little bit of rock luck and you just throw it away, you know. Why not? I mean, $100 just grows on the trees. Right, don't be this guy. You can buy NFTs like like this guy sells, right? For four, 484, you can buy them. And then, boom, sell it at, let's say, just 679. Not even half of the highest sell, you know? And boom, that's 100 and almost 200 profit right there. You know what I mean? That's what you should do so you can make money with NFTs. Obviously, you can create the NFTs. That's a hassle and I hope I can do it myself, actually. <clears throat> but that's how you can profit. And another thing you can do is... Uh, which one? Yeah. So on the nifty, niftyblocks.com, you can actually find drops that are really cheap sometimes. So that's a tip you don't want to miss. <clears throat> so when they actually create a collection, like second season, third season of the collection, there are some popular collection out there and just they just drop some NFTs, some new NFTs on the collection and they're really cheap and sometimes they have packs well five of ten and after a month or two or maybe even faster or later those NFTs just skyrocketed in the in the price so you just bought them from for 20 wax, let's say there are 5 NFTs right here in the pack, after you open it You can open it in the market, you can open it in the nifty platform <clears throat> Depends what says on the pack right here in The description, so You just bought for 20 wax, 5 NFTs, right? And then after 1 month, 1 NFT is 20 wax the rest four are just profit, 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 profit. You know what I mean? So that's what I do. I, I try to buy uh, new collections or new drops, things like that. Because obviously I don't afford to buy something that's already there and really expensive and powerful and mining power or, you know. But you can sleep even if, if I had the money, bro. <laughs> Come on, I would have made so many deals right now. I saw one time a mythical drop half a price just like this one. And it was like 500 mining power in the dungeon. That was a steal and I didn't have the money. Oh. <sighs> that was so nice. Okay. So yeah, that's, that's how you should uh, make from what I know. That's how you make money with NFTs drops people like this guy would make you money double the money I mean <laughs> don't just don't be this guy <clears throat> and burn then again you can buy them cheap all of them or almost all of them if you can buy because all of if there are only five remaining that's still they they are going up in price so yeah, either burn them, the NFTs, either hold them, either buy drops, really cheap, great value, either buy NFTs half priced or really cheap and sell them, 
you know, hold them a little bit and then sell them a higher price. You just need to look at the charts and see if it's worth it or not. You you can go at details and you can see the chart here and here, you know, days, months, all. It's not it's not hard, it's really simple the chart, you just press on it and you see the sales. Now this particular NFT didn't have great sales lately for some reason. People just sell them quickly. Even though this is there, this is there, I have no idea what. But I'm holding it, I'm not gonna sell it for cheap, that's for sure, because we may never get Mythic again. You never know, you know, so... <clears throat> you can't just throw it away. Last time I did sell it uh, cheap, but this time it's not gonna happen anymore. <clears throat> it did help me selling that NFT, obviously, but... Now I know, now I know, don't sell it like this, just, I mean, I didn't sell it quite because I'm not, don't be this guy, you know, I'm not this guy. <laughs> I sold it like, let's say 25 euros lower, so still it was something, but not half price, you know. So yeah, I hope I helped you a little bit with... Uh, the NFTs trading and all have a nice one and if you don't subscribe I'm gonna steal your chest <laughs>